Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition for Friday, May 5th. SOMDY is a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Caleb. And I'm Dom. And here's what we have for you this week. Newberg teen and junior at McDonough High School, Madeline Posey, is wearing a lot of hats these days. And the newest addition to the collection is a crown after being named Miss Maryland Teen USA on April 2nd. The state pageant was held at the Bethesda Marriott Hotel, and the 17-year-old bested 61 other contestants to claim the title this year. Posey said in an interview, I still have yet to completely process that I have the title and the power to change and to make a difference with the title, and I'm excited to see what the year brings. A new library branch is coming to Southern Maryland. The Charles County Public Library and Local Detention Center have come together to create a fully functional library branch to serve people in jail. Abigail Warden, the Program Outreach and Services Supervisor for the Public Library System, stated in an interview with Southern Maryland News, providing access to services and literature is definitely going to combat challenges with repeat offenders. Members of the Tri-County Council for Southern Maryland met April 27th in Hughesville, and while the session was less than an hour long, the topic of the region's longtime transportation priority project got considerable attention. William Pines of the Maryland Transportation Authority updated the council on the ongoing demolition of the old Harry W. Nice Memorial Thomas Middleton Bridge. The demolition of the 82-year-old bridge went into full swing back in late October, just days after the new bridge was officially opened on October 12th. Pines stated that the entire bridge will be demolished and all components will be removed by late 2024. A 10-year veteran of the Charles County Detention Center, Corporal Nicholas Cargill, was recently named the Facilities Correctional Officer of the Year. Corporal Cargill's dedication to the Corrections Division and his humanity set an example for others to follow, Brandon Foster, Director of the Charles County Detention Center said in a press conference released by the Sheriff's Office sent last month. Cargill told Southern Maryland News that he was very surprised when he heard that he had earned the reward. Now turning to sports. Lantown hosts final regular season track meet. Athletes from across the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference will meet at Lantown High School on Tuesday for their last chance to prepare for next week's two-day SMAC championship meet at St. Charles High School. When the Huntington Town High School girls lacrosse team arrives at Northern High for their annual Southern Maryland Athletic Conference League clash, the Hurricanes appear to tend on dethroning the rival Patriots as SMAC regular season champions from the outset. Within a span of 90 minutes, the visitors reclaimed the crown of a 10-3 win. That's all we have for you on Friday, May 5th edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Jalen. And I'm Dom. Signing, signing off. off.